The nature of Kazakhstan is so rich, we continue our journey through the Great Steppe. In the last episode, we had a great time at the Tastau tourist base, swam in the hot springs, learned a lot of new and interesting things about the unique Uygan Taz, and also enjoyed the beauty of the Charin Canyon. Today we will have no less exciting adventures. We will walk along the road with the clouds at the Assi Plateau, find out what the so-called falling ground looks like, freshen up in the Medveji waterfall, and visit the holy land of the great Kazakh Sufi Shakpakata. Interested? Stay tuned, then you will discover brand new places to spend your next weekend. Well, our journey continues and today we are at the Turgen Gorge. The distance to the Medveji waterfall is only 1300 meters. That's nothing. I'll be there in five minutes. Where is the trail? The Turgen Gorge impresses from the very first minute. This amazing natural area is located in the National Ili Anatau Park, 19 kilometers away from the city of Almaty. Mountaineering is now very popular among Kazakh residents. More people prefer to and conquer the mountain peaks with just a backpack, rather than spend their weekends at home lying on the couch with a laptop. Give me five seconds. The stone is slippery. In fact, the path to the mountain is not easy as it might seem at first glance. In some places, the trail goes into step ascents, with every meter it becomes cooler and sometimes you have to wade through dense thickets. And if you are really afraid of insects, do not forget a repellent. The road to the waterfall is very winding and rocky, so make sure you are wearing comfortable shoes with a thick sole so you will not feel these sharp stones under your feet. It is known that caravans of the Great Silk Road used to pass here. I wonder if that was exactly their road. And these places are shrouded in mystery and legends. For example, according to the popular belief, the local waters are real sources of eternal youth. Well, let's test it on our host, who has already made tea using the crystal clear water. You can make this same photo and post it on Instagram using the hashtag across the Kazakh land to get a chance to win interesting prizes. While Anton is testing all the miraculous properties of water, his co-host Jodiz went to explore the Mangistau Peninsula, and today she will visit one of the most mysterious places in Kazakhstan, the Zhigilgan Cave. The land has gone down here. A powerful earthquake led to a giant landslide. A hollow appeared on the shore of the Caspian Sea with a diameter of over 10 kilometers. And these fantastic stone blocks are fragments of a fallen limestone slab. This is an explanation of the falling ground from a scientific point of view. People say that one of the prophets, predecessors of Muhammad, once stayed here for the night. While reading a prayer, someone stole a horse from him. Then the prophet got angry and cursed this place. Since then, the coast has been covered with mud and the ground has split in two. Zhigilgan, according to scientists, is a karst cave. Such hollows are formed due to the fact that groundwater gradually erodes the lower layers of the soil. The karst caves are very interesting objects. Karst is formed from dissolution of the limestone, gypsum and the rocks that can be washed with water. There are a lot of caves in Ustuot. Ustuot is composed of limestone. Large earthquakes lead to landslides. 
Probably the expression losing ground under the feet originated here. For hundreds of years, the wind has carved various strange shapes and labyrinths from these rocks. The persecuted tribes or fugitive criminals hid in these labyrinths for centuries. There are a lot of caves suitable for life. Cave paintings of different eras. This is a real gallery under the open sky. Picturesque rocks are the ruins of an ancient castle for sure. It is impossible to describe the beauty of this neighborhood. You need to see it for yourself. There are seven waterfalls in the Tugan Gorge. Kairako, Busgur and Medveji are very popular among tourists. That's where our host Anton is heading to. Apparently the road is exhausting, even though that's the easiest way. <laughs> 1300 meters is nothing. Give me five seconds. These places are famous for their variety of vegetation. Barberry, wild rose, wild raspberry, apricot. But the most interesting thing is that relict Chintugan mossy spruce forests, which can survive even in permafrost conditions, grow here. Not far from here, there is a trout farm, an ostrich farm, Healing Springs. That is why adventure seekers come here. Well, finally, we reach the Medveji waterfall. It is located at the altitude of 1,520 meters above sea level. The height of the waterfall is 30 meters. These rocks behind me were formed as a result of a strong earthquake when the rocks cracked and revealed a miracle of nature. Well, the name of the waterfall, Medveji, which means bear is not accidental. That mixed forest zone is the origin of Tenshan bear. But it is unlikely that you meet the animal here, so do not be afraid. This waterfall is worth seeing. I'll go to take a closer look. Powerful flow of water hits cascading walls like lava. Small drops fly a few meters away, forming a white cloud. How invigorating is the icy water on a hot summer day? Where are you from? Originally, I'm from Kazakhstan, but now I live in Istanbul. What is your name? Zarina. And you came from Istanbul to visit the Medveji waterfall? Yes. How does it feel? I was here when I was 16 years old, the memories remained in my heart, and I decided to come back here. So everything has changed, or is it the same? Same, pure, natural, beautiful. Great. What else would you recommend to visit to your friends from Istanbul and if they want to visit Almaty? Almaty region. Almarasan, mountains, Midao. If you ever decide to go to the Tugan Gorge, do not forget to bring a swimsuit, warm clothes, especially if you want to stay overnight, comfortable shoes, tea and of course something to eat. And then you will remember this mountain tour for a long time. You can make the similar photo at this spot and post it on Instagram using the hashtag across the Kazakh land and you will get a chance to win a prize. So let's take a photo. In fact, walking around the edge of the Zhigilgan Cape is dangerous. The strong wind and the scorching sun lead to the formation of cracks on the rocks. At any time, stones can come down. Geological activity continues. Since we live a certain stage, we can only notice short changes. And in geological history, they are divided by 10, 100 million years and these changes are much noticeable. The level of the Caspian Sea is changing too. There was a time when the sea flooded the Caspian Depression, reaching the Mugodja Hills. There were periods of transgression, there were periods of regression, when the sea got smaller by its size. However, some brave souls like our host Jules love to stand on the edge of the abyss and take exciting selfies.
This area has another mysterious place, the small lake Kozdi Kara. The water in it is very salty like in the Dead Sea. It is unknown how and when the reservoir has appeared, some people say that the lake is somehow connected with the Caspian. Mangistan region is rich in mysterious stories. They attract curious tourists from all over the world. But that's not all. The landslide exposed the ancient layers of the earth and now you can find giant dinosaur footprints. Let's look together. Who knows, maybe we'll find a Tyrannosaurus tooth or a pterodactyl wing. Yes, the raw indentations resembling the trails of some giant animal. Exactly the same ones were found in the region of Mangistau on Otpan mountain. These finds became a local landmark, however, experts have not yet confirmed whose prince it was. Well, you need to arrange a whole scientific expedition to find the remains of the ancient inhabitants. Alpine meadows, clear blue sky, clean mountain air. It is impossible to believe that all this are within two hours' ride from the noisy metropolis. A sea plateau is located at the altitude of 3,000 meters above sea level. Our film crew came here late in the evening, so everyone decided to relax and start to enjoy the views in the morning. The length of the high mountain valley is about 50 kilometers. From the north and south sides, it is surrounded by mountain peaks. In the west, the plateau smoothly passes into the Turgen Gorge, in the west, into the valley of the Botogai Reservoir. One of the main attractions is the astronomical observatory of Asse. Its convenient location allows observing celestial objects in the evening, since here there are practically no clouds in the night. The place is also unique because there are no artificial light sources that interfere with astronomical research, high transparency and low turbulence. Construction of the observatory began in 1975. To this day, here people watch the planets of the solar system. According to scientists, Kazakhstan is located at the ideal longitude for geostationary satellites that rotate with the Earth. This is the reason why there is a whole cloud of satellites above us. The observatory is closed and it has limited access. The Mangistau region has two-thirds of the architectural and historical monuments of Kazakhstan. Many of them have a special place in the Caspian region and throughout the country. By the way, this area is famous not only for its history, indescribable landscapes, the majestic sea, but also for the people who once lived here. There are a lot of archaeological monuments here. The first researcher here was Alan Meduev, and he found many stone tools. And according to its primary classification, which later entered the book of the geochronology of the Paleolithic era of Kazakhstan and in the history of Kazakhstan, he believes that some of the most ancient monuments of Kazakhstan are located in Mangistan. Tupkaragan Peninsula on the southern coast of Saritaj Bay. There are two ravines along the slope of the mountain Ungazi. Between them, a cave was carved out of a stone block. This is Shakpakata, the mysterious personality covered with legends. They say he could heal even the most serious illnesses. According to archaeologists, the mosque was built in the 9th, 10th centuries. Its name is given in honor of Sufi Shakpakanta. He lived here with his students. The last years of his life he was ascetic and did not leave his underground place. If you look at the mosque from above, you can see that it has a cross shape. Scientists suggest that in the pre-Islamic period the premises were used in some other way. The entrance to the cave is decorated with a portal arch. There are several recesses in the walls. Muslim believers worship this place as a place of power. They believe that everyone should visit it at least once.
The mosque is considered the most ancient architectural monument in western Kazakhstan. It is cut in the mountain chalk rock. It is known that Sufis practiced healing magic. They treated the people who came here. And to this day, people come here, hoping to get rid of their ailments. Indeed, there is an inexplicable energy everywhere. It is especially felt inside the temple. When your eyes get used to the natural soft lighting, you can see in detail the architecture and interior. Hard to believe it was all made out of the bedrock. Nature created this temple, and craftsmen only slightly polished it. This is the special beauty of the Shakpakata Mosque. The construction is very interesting. This is not a traditional mosque as we understand it, but a mosque carved in the rock. It is underground. Hermits went there, lived there and prayed. The distance between Mangistau and Almaty region is almost 3,000 kilometers. But thanks to modern technologies, we are moving from sacred places to the valley with breathtaking landscapes of the Almaty region in a matter of seconds. Over the past few years, the RC Plateau has become very popular with drivers and bikers, who love to drive on impassable roads and dangerous slopes as well as among people involved in hitchhiking. Very unexpectedly, we met a group of foreign tourists here. And of course, we wanted to find out where they came from and what brought them here. All right. How was your what trip in the mountains? You here on the oh, that was wonderful. But I'm not very prepared. I was going very slowly. I looked and enjoyed the nature. Would you tell your friends about Kazakhstan so that they come here sometime? It is very far from the place where I come from, and I don't know if they can come. But I will definitely recommend these places to people who love hitchhiking. Since ancient time, during the summertime, the RC Plateau was used as a summer pasture. Previously, thousands of herds of sheep and horses grazed here. Of course, even today it is possible to meet shepherds. Only nowadays, they are no longer engaged in animal husbandry on such a scale. Clouds here are so low that it seems they can be reached by hand. Imagine, the landscape of these places has not changed much since the Bronze Age. <laughs> While traveling along the RC Plateau, we ran onto cave paintings. It is said that these poorly studied petroglyphs date back to 4th, 5th centuries BC. This rock painting shows the life of the people who lived here just a few years ago. So coming to the plateau, you can feel the breath of the ages. I felt it. Rock paintings are also called stone books. There are more than 20,000 petroglyphs in the world. In Kazakhstan, scientists counted over 3,000. Most of the rock paintings are concentrated in the Amti region. At least scientists say so. The images of these petroglyphs are quite difficult to restore since the surface is already badly damaged. I think this is a baby in her arms. We know from history the value of the monuments of ancient culture. The find of this rock gallery near Turgen is even more valuable. Petroglyphs, of course, make up the great heritage of our country. We only need to save it. In the meantime, Anton Dukravet solves the mysteries of ancient artists. We are returning to the west of the country, to our second film crew. Shakpakata is one of the main attractions of the Mangistan region. If you look closely, then on its walls you can see inscriptions made in different centuries. First of all, Sufi lines about the transience of life and mortality of everything in the world. Those who have ever been here get peace of mind and the impressions of the trip remain for a long time. We came here for the first time. We have never been in such places, so we really like it. We are delighted. 
Shakpaka Ta means old man stone in Kazakh. This is not the name of the great Sufi given to him when he was born. The name was given by the people and all because in the battle with the enemies he fought bravely and his weapon used to make sparks just like the stone. It is unknown when he lived. Another version is that he was one of the descendants of Shopana Ta. There are several versions about dates. The first who explored the monument was Alan Medoev in the 60s. Then Medikulov explored it, as well as the other archaeologists. And there are disagreements about the dates. It is believed that it dates back to the 9th, 10th centuries. Others say it is a monument of the 12th century. But despite this, it is a unique object. The only indisputable fact, Shak Pakanta was a follower of the teachings of Koja Ahmed Yasawi, and he is one of the 360 saints in Mangistan. That is why pilgrims come to worship the shrine at any time of the year. You can follow the expedition on social networks using the hashtag across the Kazakh land. Well, and right now we will find out if our Anton is feeling all right walking above the clouds in the mountains of the Transili Ala town. Zhedishke River starts at the altitude of 2,650 meters in Zailiski Ala town. The river flows more than 50 kilometers through the mountain valley where we are standing right now. Over the 1,000 years of its existence, the bed of the 50 meter river turned into a canyon, which resembles Charyan in some way. Not far from here, there are the red rocks, a piece of moss on earth. The landscape there is fantastic. But we will continue our way along the winding mountain road to the pass. They say it offers a panoramic view of the entire valley. Plateau Taban Karagai. We are already above the clouds and continue going. They promise unearthly beauty. Going to the RC Plateau, don't forget your camera or, well, charge your phone. Because you would want to take a lot of pictures. The sky with fancy clouds, picturesque hills, a river with crystal clear water, insects and birds. This is our Kuzelawus Pass between the rivers Asi and Zhenishke. There are beautiful views, but it is not recommended to go by car after the rains. Roads are difficult, they can become soft and you can get stuck for a long time. And it's cold here. While being here gives a feeling that you are on another planet. Believe me. Difficult steep ascents up in the mountains, scorching sun, strong wind, cold and heat, in order to find yourself in this little paradise in Kazakhstan. That's it for today. We turned another page of our exciting expedition. We managed to uncover the mystery of the falling ground, energize in the majestic mountains, we visited the sacred land of our ancestors Mangistau, Shakpakata Mosque, and almost lost our host Anton on the way to the Medveji Fall in the Almaty region. And yet, we were able to overcome all the difficulties, adversity, and managed to do that. The team is ready for the new discoveries. Watch them in the next episode. Continue to follow our exciting trip using the hashtag across the Kazakhland. Bye.